everybody, today I'm here to tell you what kind of shells you should buy for your hermit crabs and what you shouldn't buy. First, I'll discuss the bad shells, because those are what people generally have for their hermit crabs. First, is a shell that you decide to paint yourself. The shell was originally painted with acrylic paint, which I bought it with. It, like, had acrylic paint on it when I bought it. My, one of my friends took one of my shells from my aquarium for them and painted it with nail polish, crackle, and, and sparkles. If this chips off, your hermit crab will get very sick or it could potentially be fatal, which means that could kill them if you didn't know. Um, the crackle, it's, it's not even good for humans fumes and if the hermit crabs breathe it it's going to be like three times worse because their bodies are so delicate and okay so the second type is one that's airbrushed airbrush is really bad for your hermit crabs because even though it feels as if it couldn't come off the wear and tear the sand or gravel you have or even the crabs climbing over each other or when they're molting you might think that the paint when it falls off the skin and they'll eat it so here's an example of one. One of my crabs is actually wearing one. I'm not happy about it, so don't be like, well, you shouldn't have a crab that wears that. It's not my fault. I He switched into the shell without me knowing that they were bad because I actually just found out a couple weeks ago. And he won't switch out of this shell. So <laughs> if I could get him, I would. He has a bunch of selections to switch out of but he just won't, so, yeah. <laughs> Another type of shell that you shouldn't buy is a tie-dye one. Tie-dye tie -dye would probably be the worst kind because there are so many colors mixed in with it that once the paint falls off, there's so many different colors that it could think that it's food. If you have vegetables in there, it might mistake it for like a strawberry because of the pink on it or like an orange peel from the orange because they're not the brightest animals it's not very clean on the inside i boiled it like five times and the people in the pet store actually put dots on the inside of most shells with the same kind of paint that you buy them with on the shells so actually the type of paint that is on the shells that is very toxic to them is inside the shells as well so when you're buying a shell just look out for that another bad type of shell is this i actually got this from a boardwalk who was on my original crab like i had a crab it was actually this crab he was originally in this shell and he was in it for like a couple weeks and then as soon as i put him in the cage and as soon as i put him in the aquarium with a bunch of other shells he switched immediately and as you can see this stuff isn't natural like the fins of the turtle and the tail and that stuff is glued on and if that falls off that could be very fatal to them because they might think that it's food or gravel or some kind of pellet and eat it and if the paint falls off in between this part and the shell this part could fall off and if you do have a crab like this and it won't switch into another shell just as soon as these parts fall off or it switches, just remove it from the cage immediately. Another bad type of shell, this is another one with glued on parts. It's pretty recent. I didn't know that it, they were bad at the time when I got it. One of my crabs actually just switched out of this shell. This shell is probably one of the worst shells I've ever seen for a crab. It's this. It's a mask with, that reminded me of Broadway, so that's how one of my crabs, Broadway, got his name and it's the paint is very thick and heavy and if that falls off that's going to be worse than shells with thin paint like this one this one doesn't have thick paint at all i i'm actually scraping it off because i like to reuse the shells and then after that's done i put them in turpentine so all the paint can come off and then i boil it in water for a while so everything is off the shell but this if you scrape the exterior of the shell the shell will actually fall apart so as soon as my crab switched out of this last night 
I took it out of the cage, I removed it just like I did with, with all of these shells. So, now we should talk about good shells. Good shells are generally the natural shells. Unless you have a shell that's non-toxic that you buy in the pet store, which they generally don't sell because pet stores you shouldn't really trust because they will give your crab a toxic shell just so you'll come back there and buy more crabs which I think is the sickest thing I've ever heard that they, that someone could do that to an animal. Hold on. But here's um, a shell that I actually took all the paint off of that I got from a pet store. So you can recycle shells if you can take the paint off of them. Another good shell is this. It's a bowl shell. You can, the crab has, it has a nice circular opening so the crab can fit in it comfortably. It's pretty large on the outside, so the crab has a bunch of room, and it can fit water in its shell because that's what they do when they take baths. This is actually the one that had the mask shell, which was like horrible when I saw it. Um, another good shell is this. I'm still taking the paint off of it, so like, I'm not saying it's a good shell if it has some paint on it, if you do decide to do this, make sure that you have every bit of paint off. And turpentine is a good solution, but you have to, you, like have to, make sure that you boil it for a very long time if you don't want your crabs to get sick. Which I wouldn't want any of my crabs to get sick. Another good shell is this. It's a normal seashell. You could find them on the beach all the time. This is a like bowl shell, like we talked about before. It has a ovalish opening. This shell's a little big for him, so he looks very tiny compared to it. He actually just switched into this shell yesterday, so he's still getting used to it. Another good shell is this. It's a conch shell. It has, if you find anything with a, per with a mother of pearl inside, get that as long as it's not painted and your crab will thank you a thousand times because the mother of pearl inside it's slick it's sleek like it's slick it's sleek your crab can fit into it and it'll be comfortable for the crab because the mother of pearl is smooth so it feels good on their body one more bad shell i'm going to show you is this especially one with googly eyes make sure you do not buy your crab one with that this crab I actually have, I don't want her to be in this shell at all. I want her to be out of this shell in a natural shell. I'm aiming towards that to have an only natural shell environment for them. I only buy natural shells now. They all have a bunch of shells to choose from. So if they decided to switch shells at one point, they could. But those two just seem to not want to switch shells i have a 30 gallon fish tank for them so i can have up to 60 i'd rather have less than 30 though because i don't really want more than 30 but i like have at least two because if you just have one crab the crab is gonna feel lonely it's not gonna be social it's not gonna have fun at all Okay, so we talked about shells, and in the next video, I'm actually going to talk about how they treat crabs, how you're supposed to treat a crab. So, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!